just where we go. Thank you all very much for coming. I believe that you're all here because you believe that we can do something about child abuse. So does child abuse exist in the Northwestern District, which is Franklin and Hampshire County and the town of Athol? Well, the DA's office received 344 referrals last year. It's a lot of children. That's a lot of families. We are very fortunate that in this district we have many people and groups who work together to prevent child abuse and to provide services to the abused children. We believe in prevention, in safety, justice, and healing. That's what we're all about. In February of 2012, David Fried Oppenheim, the director of the Pioneer Arts Center of East Hampton, better known as PACE, was sentenced to state prison for several years for multiple counts of rape and abuse of a child. The child was between the ages of 14 and 16 years of age and went by the initials of J.S. He would teach her his very special techniques, which he called primitives, but she couldn't tell anyone because people wouldn't understand his unique acting technique. David Fried Oppenheim's techniques were neither creative nor special. They were simply criminal. They were sexual assaults of J.S. J.S. is actually an amazing woman by the name of Julia Suriano. By telling her story, also paved the way for others to tell their story. Because we learned through Julia that she wasn't the first nor the last to learn his primitive techniques. And because of Julia, David Fried Oppenheim is never able to teach others his primitive techniques. The thing of it is, when something like this happens to someone, it doesn't just happen to the victim. It happens to the entire family. Kind, compassionate, loving, supportive. These are just some of the adjectives to describe these two pretty amazing people. I personally got to see just how special Jeff and his wife Lisa were with their patience, compassion, and strength that helped carry their daughter through one of the worst times of her life. This is one of the worst crimes that could ever take place. It's one of those moments in your life when um, you wake up and you realize uh, when your daughter uh, reports something as terrible as this, that there was every moment in your life up until then, and there'll be every moment from that time forward. My daughter was 14 when she was raped uh, repeatedly um, by a community member who, it's just hard to describe you guys. Like, it's very difficult to um, try to convey to you how that happened. It was criminal, and she didn't realize it at the time. One of the biggest mistakes I think could be made by parents is thinking that because you have this am amazing, outstanding, open line in communication, that nothing bad could happen to your daughter without your knowing it. Th this effort you guys are, are, are involved in, this, the Child Abuse Awareness Month, the concept, the integrated process that is uh, in place, the family support. I, I can't tell you how important it is. I can't tell you how important it is. And when you're told by experts like Linda and her support group and the district attorney's office and, and how this actually works and how these predators actually achieve their hideous goals, you, be, you, you are then able to look at the thing from 20,000 feet and maybe, maybe start to introduce yourself to the idea that this wasn't all your fault. Which for the family side is um, just really important because you feel a personal failure that I can't describe, I can't, I can't quantify. How is it that this ha happens to your kid and you don't know it? It happens, it, it really does. It, it can happen to the best families, it can happen to the best kids. Everybody in this room, uh, you're doing an amazing thing. What you're doing is, is indescribable, it's so important. It's the only light you have in a very dark world. This kind of support is the only thing you have in your life when you're a victim of a crime like this and, and, and you're trying to do the best thing for your loved ones and you're trying to do the best thing for society and you're trying to correct a major flaw in society and that flaw was corrected and that's because of the hard work of the detectives and of the DA's office. Honestly, children are more often abused by someone they know than by a lurking stranger. I really want children to be raised in safe, healthy homes so they can come out as intelligent, happy, thoughtful people who have the capacity to care for others. So last year, 
the Franklin, Hampshire DCF office received over 2,800 reports of child abuse and neglect. My unit investigated 343. All of the serious physical abuse and sexual abuse cases get referred to the district attorney's office. So when the department, the department has a mandate to investigate and we also have a mandate to offer services to parents so that children can remain with their families in a safe environment. But there are certainly those cases, as Jeff has spoke of, where we want to hold the person legally accountable. I appreciate the Children's Advocacy Center because it schedules quarterly reviews of the cases that have been supported for child abuse. These reviews have really enabled us to work together as a team. And building these collaborative relationships between all the professionals is just crucial to protecting the children. Over the years, lots of good things have happened. And a lot of these things, you know, uh, I say can be attributed to the outstanding people who have served on the board of the Children's Advocacy Center. People who have given their time, like these people here sitting here before you, previous board members have given their time and effort in terms of raising money and bringing us together to address a very, very, very serious problem. When I say that, and we talk about it from a criminal uh, standpoint, we're never going to solve this problem by putting everyone in jail. The problem is much larger than that. Unfortunately, this group has worked very, very hard on programs that will, in fact, try and reduce the victimization of young people, both sexually and physically. The community support really makes this worthwhile. And the satisfaction is to work with people united to reduce the victimization of young kids. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. I pray we'll find your life and hold. When stars go out at night, remind